Greetings, unsettled souls! Go. Welcome to the correct views. Sam I beat the Ganji of the Media Speaks. Conservative Daily Post, Teddy Stick. Hello, the band passing time. I got H Def over there. In front of me here, I've got the uh, the regular live stream, so I'll be talking to both cameras. And it is the massive Fukushima update. It is the time that we cover all of the news that they try not to let you hear about regarding what Chris Busby, of course, the physicist, called the worst disaster in all of human history. Um, how many of you remembered the wildfires that had happened? Well, actually, I guess the, these ones weren't wild, wildfires. Let me go back. How many of you remember that they were burning the debris in fire, I should say, and sending the uh, toxicity into the air? And uh, speaking of Chris Busby, he had said that he thought the reason that they were doing this was so that when cancers started to erupt later on all over Japan, that TEPCO wouldn't be held accountable. And here's the way we can, uh, we can look at this. Let's say that this bumper sticker, which you can have by asking for it, is Japan. Now, because of the jet stream moving this way, if, if Fukushima is here... If people all around here start getting cancer, you're going to know who to sue. But if you burn it here and here and here and here and create a toxic cloud over all of Japan, and everybody starts getting cancer, then in a number of years, it'll just be one of those strange flukes. Oh, it must have been something you ate. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of things in GMOs that could be something you ate, but it's not going to be. It's going to be from this disaster. Well, now we have wildfires actual act of God, whatever you want to call them, wildfires, and they are sending people in who are ill-equipped to deal with it because they don't know what to do. Radioactivity does not die down. So it's, it's just as potent now as it was in its, uh, when it happened five years ago, considering that some of this stuff is around for millions of years. It's, it's not even a toddler yet by comparison. So it hasn't been diluted due to time. That's only certain radionuclides like tritium. Um, and I think American, but don't quote me on that, nhk.org, uh, you guys know NHK. Wildfire, continu <clears throat> wildfire continues in Fukushima, and your host can't talk. A wildfire has been raging for more than two days near the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The fire started in a mountain forest on the outskirts of Naimi Town in Fukushima Prefecture. The area is part of a zone designated as a no-entry area, we know that. Um, <clears throat> Fukushima and Miyagi prefectures and the self-defense forces are using helicopters to fight the blaze. They are also looking at the possibility of using ground crews. All right, now, I don't know how many of you remember the Fukushima disaster, but if you do, you know that it harkens back to Chernobyl, where they were taking helicopters, looks like prop day here, they were taking helicopters and flying, dumping water on the radioactive core that was exposed at Chernobyl. And there's a scene where one of the people, the reporters in the helicopter is filming, and he's like, they've exposed the fiery core, get us out of here. The helicopter pilots who were repeatedly in Russia going over top of Chernobyl have died of horrific cancers and illnesses that you would not possibly imagine. So, <clears throat> fast forward from 1986 to 2017, and clearly we've gotten much better at it, haven't we? We keep building them. Footage on an NHK helicopter on Monday morning showed smoke rising from the wildfires and fires burning in several locations. Local officials and firefighters say that the blaze is abated somewhat on Monday afternoon, Thanks to rainfall, the wildfire is estimated to have burned 20 hecta acres of land so far. Now, let me go ahead and mention to anybody that would be in Japan, if you end up in the rain in the next couple of days, it's going to be even worse because a lot of the radionuclides have been stirred from the fire and are now in the rain. Um, it's also a really bad time for anybody in the States, including Christelle, to eat very much tuna because there's going to be an even higher concentration in it and coming up uh, after the, the the fires that we've seen there. So I can't have any more of my tuna macaroni and cheese? 
She eats tuna macaroni and cheese. She has me as a husband and she eats tuna macaroni and cheese. I watch her kill herself. Um, it's RT.com. Fukushima authorities ask troops to help deal, deal with forest fires near crippled nuclear power plant. Now, there's a reason that we, we run fact cam here. Uh, you guys on the low def can already see it. High def. Do you see a respirator on that man? Do you see anything whatsoever that would imply that this individual is should be cleaning up a wildfire at a nuclear power station? He's cleaning up nu nuclear waste? Like... Just standing there with a the hose. Wow. So basically he's spraying the radiation from one side of the road, the particles, to the other. So it can concentrate on the side of the road. Oh, but none that's going in his in his nose or mouth no, or anything. No, no, not a bit. No, no because... He's uh, exempt from it. They would never put him in danger like that. Never. Just like the SS Ronald Reagan. They still have the Ronald Reagan on the, on the seas, the seven seas, of course... We know that it is forever contaminated because it was there when Fukushima first went red. But they keep putting our soldiers on it because they washed it. <coughs> Fukushima Prefecture has asked the Japanese self-defense. It's, it's, it's like trying to wash the water out of a sponge, to use the analogy. Is what is Getting radiation out of the environment, or out of the SS Ronald Reagan, would be like trying to get water out of a sponge by washing the sponge. I hope that explains it. Fukushima Prefecture has asked the Japanese self-defense forces to help in the handling of forest fires that have swept areas. I'm not going to go over the whole thing about what it is. I just did. But I wanted to go to this RT story so that you could actually look <clears throat> at what it is that they're doing. And for those of you that live in nu near nuclear power plants in the U.S., this is all the more prepared the world is for when something goes bad. This is all the more prepared they are. Again, they're talking about several helicopters flying overhead. And I've got here just a bit of video that I'm going to play of this, uh, just showing how wonderfully prepared we are. I have no idea what that says. Oh, yeah, I do. It says uh, in Japanese that Sam Beganji has the best show ever. All right, look. Um, that is all, friends, spewing tons and tons of radioactivity. Absolutely. If that helicopter, it look at the helicopter in the middle of the smoke, and the smoke has radioactivity from the ground in it. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that. That that's that's our great uh, that's our prep. That's Tepco making sure that they bring great things to life with a GE for us. Um, this is from the Japan Times. Cost cutting keeps TEPCO in the black, but nuclear redress is taking its toll. Now, how can a company in the black, that means making money, how can you be in the black when you've poisoned an entire planet? Because you come up with words like cold shutdown. You say, oh, it's in cold shutdown, and it's not. What's that like? It's like a house fire raging, and you get the fire out on the porch so that people driving by can't see it. Inside the house, in the basement, the fire is raging out of control, and you say, oh, it's fine. That is close to what we are talking about here. Let's take a real look at the article. Tokyo Electric said Friday that it stayed in the black in fiscal 2016 for the fourth consecutive year thanks to cost-cutting efforts after the 11 triple core meltdown at Fukushima Power Plant. But the beleaguered utility, which is effectively under state control, said group pretax profits sank 30.2%, which is 227.62 billion yen. That's because nobody has any respect or trust for this energy producing company anymore. Why should they? Consolidated net profits, uh, again, was down 5.7%. That was what they call an extraordinary loss of 392 billion yen. Uh, TEPCO's Holdings Inc., uh, better known as TEPCO, did not release an earnings outlook for the current year, <coughs> saying it could not make any predictions because it is now in the process of crafting a new turnaround plan. A new turnaround plan. Friends, they don't even have the technology to get near the plant. Robots, 
melt down because of how deadly the radiation is. They, they can't put robots in it. It melts down the components inside. But TEPCO is saying that they're on their way to new things. They don't even have the technology. It's 30 to 40 years to get this cleaned up. But they drop this number under the assumption that somebody somewhere is going to, to quote Trent Reznor, somebody's going to figure it out. Um, somebody's going to devise some way for us to get near this, so we'll be done in 30 years. We have no idea what that is, but trust us, we'll be done in 30 years. As the house fire blazes, to use the earlier analogy, TEPCO President Naomi Hirol said the utility has managed to stay profitable without reactivating the giant Kawashizaki Kawawa nuclear power plant, whose name I just destroyed, but noted that using nuclear power is still important to get back on track. Still important to get back on track. I did not get the memo that he got, but it seems that this is the only earthquake that Japan is ever going to get, even though Japan was created by an earthquake. Even though we all know that someday Japan will be destroyed by an earthquake, well, number of earthquakes, we'll know it will be destroyed by an earthquake. We're just going to say that nuclear is, of course, the hope of the future. It was just a random fluke that just melted down, melted through, melted out. It is a problem we can't control, but we need more nuclear power plants, particularly on our island that is still seeing earthquakes. We must earn at least $500 billion annually to pay compensation for the cost to scrap the disaster hit Fukushima reactors. Otherwise, we won't be able to fulfill our responsibility. In other words, give us money as we hold you hostage or we'll give you even worse cancers much sooner. They're trying to revive itself after a nationalized in exchange for $1 trillion capital and yen in 2012, but the compensation and cleanup costs are ballooning. So what do they want to do? They want to open more power plants. Can say Electrical Power Company, meanwhile, reported a group net profit of 140.79 billion yen. And they, too, are pushing for the opening of new nuclear power plants. And if that wasn't bad enough, our last two stories take us to North Korea, where the mad cheese eater is convinced to start a war. How many of you, you can find a teddy stick, that's why right now, I'll write about him almost daily. I'm sure I'll be writing about him later today. <coughs> Again, that's teddy stick. How many of you, and I know I get a lot of left-leaning uh, people when I do Fukushima shows, welcome aboard. How many people were terrified that Mr. Trump was going to start a nuclear war? How many of you realize that he's done the exact opposite? He has allowed China to deal largely with North Korea, which they asked to do. He has shown great restraint, which Russia asked him to do. Even though Hawaii and the west coast of the U.S. continues to be threatened, as does South Korea, and now they threaten China as of yesterday. For anybody keeping score, they now think they can fight two of the three superpowers, U.S. and China. They have threatened Malaysia, South Korea, Japan, and are probably pissing off the rest of the Orient even as we speak. Malaysia and China used to be allies. Well, we've got now North Comedia, and North Comedia. Why, well, they are kind of comedic, aren't they? North Comedia, that's great. And a rare critique of China says the nuclear program will continue. I see, she's cute. I'm going to digress here. The cool thing about, a hey, Chris Stalin knows this too. We're going to have fun when North Korea comes uh, comes down. Imagine all the cute little hot Asian women coming out of North Korea. It's just going to, all right, that was my pig moment. But Chris Stalin, it's going to be hot, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, we're bad. Uh, Seoul, South Korea, in a rare and surprisingly pointed criticism of China, North Korea's state-run news agency warned in a commentary that the country could continue its nuclear weapons program even if it risked losing a friendly relationship with a longtime ally. In other words, the mad cheese eater is willing to even risk nuclear war with China. <clears throat> and for those of you that don't follow history, China is the reason there is a North Korea. Uh, America had the Korean War won, and then China came over the borders and rescued Kim Il-sung, who we now call the Eternal Leader. And for those of you that don't know, he is officially the leader forever, even though he is dead. Look it up. The angry commentary contributed to a writer named Kim Chao and carried to the North's official Korean agency uh, on Wednesday, Korean Central News Agency on Wednesday, 
came as President Trump was uh, pressing China to increase the enforcement of sanctions against its neighbor to contain its nuclear missile program. And he, here's what he said. One must clearly understand that North Korea's line of access to nukes for the existence of development of the country can neither be changed nor shaken, the kind of commentary said, excuse me, referring to uh, themselves, they said that they will never beg you know, for the maintenance or friendship of China. Risking its nuclear program, which is as precious as its own life, no matter how valuable friendship is. So, let me tell you exactly why it is that they're so unbelievably concerned about this. A lot of it is a past faults of American leaders, and I'll tell you why. America moved into Afghanistan, and a lot of the world didn't have a problem with it due to 9-11 and due to the fact that they were thought to be housing bin Laden. But later on, when we went into Iraq, a lot of people asked a lot of questions. Was this a vendetta from Bush? Some of it may have been. And then they have moved into Libya. They destroyed Libya. Libya used to be the jewel of the Nile, jewel of Africa, and I should say, and what did they get? They got hosed. They lost their leader. They lost their free health care. They lost... Uh, they had a, uh, if you want to live under Islamic communism, which I don't, uh, they had a very good system. Housing was free for married couples. They got uh, loans and grants from the government, usually grants, just money to keep their family going with the start. And that was all destroyed. Other countries have seen that, and they know that Libya, Iraq, Afghanistan, these nations did not have nuclear weapons, and they see aggression. Well, we had a problem with Russia, but they have nuclear weapons. We did not attack them. So North Korea is saying, as long as we have nuclear weapons, America won't do anything against us. That's their premise for doing this. Which is understandable, except for the fact that they're threatening everyone in the Orient. And that brings us, friends, to the Dumdi of the day. The Dumdi of the day here, of course, going out to uh, some of the never-Trumpers who have come up with some of the most insane things to worry about, in light of everything that we have talked about, this is what, uh, what, the, what the great left is worried about here. This is from the Conservative Daily News. Now, I work for conserv I'm affiliated with Conservative Daily Post, uh, not to be confused. Search trends, prepping for nuclear fallout in World War III. After a tsunami caused the meltdown and release of radiation of a Japanese power plant in 11, of course, uh, they published how to prepare for radioactive fallout, and today we notice it's getting read a lot. President Trump launched a slew of Tomahawk missiles at the Syrian airbase, and uh, of course, everyone said that he was going to start a nuclear war. And, uh, I, the, all right, friends, listen. First of all, President Trump called Russia before the attack and told them that we were going to hit Syria. As a Trump fan, am I happy that he hit Syria? No, it's my least favorite thing that he did in his 100 days. I think he's done a great job, but that was not something I was in favor of. I think he was wrong. Um, <clears throat> he went in and got out. Like, Libya was struck by Reagan in the 80s. It was not a war. It was not boots on the ground. We were not there forever. We went in, we struck, we got, we got a Gaddafi to stop, and we left. It was not a nuclear war. That is exactly what Trump just did to Syria. And the whole world's looking up like he just, you know, dropped uh, uh, the big boy or something. Today is reporting a high interest in World War III, with the top query being Donald Trump, World War III. The closest peak on today occurred at November uh, since the Paris nightclub. All right, friends, North Korea represents the largest threat to Japan and world peace as the nation's leader is obsessed with obtaining and using nuclear weapons. That is very much true. It says the UN's interest in nuking America is well publicized. The expectation would be that the US would generate the most searches for World War III, but it hasn't. Um, the Philippines, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and Canada have looked up the most. <clears throat> And there's a list of all the people that have looked it up. So, friends, they're more worried about Donald Trump, who's trying to prevent a war. Well, whether he's going to succeed, we don't know. Trying to prevent nuclear war, rather than getting involved with things that are already happening, like the nuclear release in Fukushima that we know is going on and that we can't stop. Instead, we're going to make up imaginary uh, concerns. Let's face it. 
There's nobody that ran on that platform, including Hillary Clinton, as terrible as she would have been as president, that would have wanted a nuclear war. So let's quit acting like one of our leaders want a nuclear war. Now, if you, if you worry that Trump's going to get us involved in one, then base it on something. But let's stop with the insanity and let's really focus on some real problems. Friends, that's your massive Fukushima update. Please donate at the correct views at Hotmail.com through PayPal. Every penny that you give to me goes towards a better show here. The correct views at Hotmail.com. Please donate through PayPal, friends. Good night and God bless.